You want us to do one more example of nonlinear? Yes. Okay. So let's. Um, this is the real precalculus. This is the real precalculus um, curriculum. Right now we are. So let's say the second example could be solve the system of equation. Solve the system of equation. Give me one second. Let me get a good example that we can use. Okay. So um, the system of equation is x squared minus y equal to zero, and then two x plus y equal to what? Zero. Solve the system of equation, all right? So now if you look at the two solution, if you look at the two equations right there, you see that one of them is linear and one of them is quadratic. So now take a look at it, which one is uh, linear? So let me label it before you answer. This is one. Which one is linear? One or two? Equation two. Good. So that's your starting point. Your starting point is you look at that one that is linear, then you use it to solve for y. In other words, you rewrite the equation to solve for y. All right. So you can say, um, considering two, considering two, then y is equal to if you just move 2x to the right side it becomes negative 2x negative 2x all right if you add zero to any number it remains the same nothing basically is added so then you can now say substitute substitute y equal to negative 2x into equation one into equation one so what that means is if we perform that operation, we are going to get x squared minus bracket negative 2x equal to 0. And if you take a look at it, to simplify, negative times negative is positive. So your equation becomes x squared plus 2x you know, um, equal to 0. All right. So this is now a quadratic equation. It is a quadratic equation because it is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So in this case, if you like, you can call this equation three. In this case, what is c? What is c? Zero. Yes, a is one, b is two, and c is zero. All right, so uh, then we can, we can, use formula or we can factorize so which one do you want the formula. formula okay so you write your formula always even though even though you know it still write it so our x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a next is substitute your values so in order to substitute your values, you are going to have x is equal to negative uh, 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is um, 0 divided by 2 times 1. All right, so this becomes easier. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0. All right, so this is uh, simplifies to be negative two plus or minus square root of square root of four, right? Divide by two. So square root of four is what? Two. All right, so that gives us that our x is equal to negative two plus or minus two over two, which is the same thing as saying negative two over over two. Mr. Cable, where'd you get four from? Look at here. Look at here. Can you see where I'm highlighting, Maya? Yes. So that's two squared. Yes. Two squared is four. Mm -hmm. Square root of four is two. Mm -hmm. So how do we get the two? The two is right here. This two plus zero. So considering that equation B is two, and that's the only that's what we substituted. No, but in your final your final thing, you have square root four. Yes, 
because I have two, uh, you have B squared. So when you substitute two to B, that's going to be two squared. And two squared is four. Two squared is two times four. Two times two zero, zero. So what is the zero, zero? It's two squared minus four times one is so equals zero. Yeah, so four times one is four. Four, four times zero is zero. Is that not correct? Four times one is because C is zero. Do you notice that C is zero? Considering equation two, do you notice that C is zero? That's the first thing. Yes. Okay, so if C is zero, if you multiply zero to any number, it is zero. Am I making sense? So zero times one is zero. Zero times four is zero. So this portion, this portion uh, becomes zero eventually. See, and it doesn't. You want to start from two squared? Yes, the two squared is two. The two, the two of the of the equation, the which equals two. four minus four. No, you are not. You are not doing PEMDAS. You have to do PEMDAS. Remember PEMDAS. What does PEMDAS say? Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Exactly, PEMDAS. All right. Now, if you are doing PEMDAS, you have to do the multiplication first before you consider either addition or subtraction. So that's why that's why you say if it is four dot four multiplied by a multiplied by c, it is four times four times one times zero. So you have to do multiplication first. That's why I had to do this. Four times one is four. Uh, four times zero is zero. So the b doesn't is not affected by a because you have to evaluate you have to evaluate this one before going to the b. That's according to PEMDAS. Okay, I get it now. You got it now? Okay, so now our solution is uh, very simple now, which is um, negative 2 over 2 plus or minus uh, 2 over 2. So we are going to have uh, that our x1 is equal to um, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. 2 over 2 is 1. So you are going to have negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. And x2 is um, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So your two solutions, your two solutions are what? 0 and negative 2. OK, so now remember, in a system of equation, you are not only finding for x, you, also find, you should also find for y. You should also solve for y. So how do we solve for y? We can just say, um look at why here look at why this is very important ladies and gentlemen please this one is very very important look at your equations remember that you got your y to be negative two times x all right so you can just use that to solve for y so then uh, since you have two solutions you will say substitute substitute x1 equal to zero and Where is negative two from when it says equal negative two. Yes, look at it right here. Look at it right here. Can you see this? Where I'm pointing right now. Um, can you see this one? Negative two plus or minus two divided by two. So if you separate it, that's going to be two divided by two plus or minus two divided by two. So if you cancel out two divided by two is negative one, right? And two divided by two is one. So the first one becomes negative one plus one. The second one becomes negative one minus one. And negative one minus one is negative two. So which means you have two, two possible solutions for x. So which is zero and x two equal to negative two. Now you are going to substitute these values to um, substitute this into into y equal to negative 2x, all right? So which means y1 is going to be negative 2 bracket uh, uh, value of x1 is 0. And y2 is going to be negative 2 bracket value of x2 is what? Is uh, negative 2. So this gives us, you see, negative 2 times 0 is 0. Any number multiplied by zero is zero. On the other hand, negative two times negative two is positive four. So now a set of a solution, the set of your solutions are 
the set of solutions are you now pair the x1 and x1 and y1 so r x1 y1 which is what x1 is 0 comma y1 is also 0 and then x2 y2 is x2 is what x2 is negative 2 comma y2 is um y2 is 4 and that's your solution and you are done okay this is actually when um pre calculus you know this is one of the uh, pre calculus a uh, typical pre calculus uh, problem so solve the following systems of equation the first one is x minus y equal to negative one the second one is x squared minus y equal to negative four so this is the first system of equation you need to solve the second system of equation you need to solve is this one, which is task. And that one is write, write at Thanks. least write Thanks. at least three paragraphs of what you learned today. Okay. Write at least three paragraphs of what you learned today. That's it. This one you must submit. And the due time is uh, due date 